Hello, this is Chaos Baloo, and welcome to more Let's Play Final Fantasy VI! Last time, last time Leviathan wiped the four of us. Um, in more ways than one. So we're not going to do that again anytime soon. No, what we are going to do is go into the Opera House. Now fortunately, I got a very helpful tip for this area. To have Earth, to have immunity or absorption of Earth. So, I've already pre pre prepped myself, this is the part I'm going with, by the way, by giving everyone Gaia Gears. That said, let's talk to this guy. Oh, this is no good! No good at all! Please, go talk to the Impresario. That name is just really hard. He is back here, right? I guess there's one way to find out. Um, no. I don't see him. Uh, okay, I guess he's not back here. Maybe he's on the balcony? Hmm. That wouldn't make a certain amount of sense. Like, well, I would have expected him to be in the dressing room, though. Clearly, that's where I looked first. Oh yeah, he's here. Oh dear, there's a dragon sitting smack in the middle of my stage! What'll I do? Yep, and that dragon is why we're here. To fight it and slay it. Um, can I, uh... Hmm. Okay. How, how do, how, how do I get onto the stage? I mean, the most obvious route would be through here, but it didn't really work before. Maybe it's unlocked now? Well, that's obviously not it. Yeah, no. No, this isn't it. So, maybe I need to climb through the rafters again. That would make a certain amount of sense. I, well, no, not really. It really wouldn't make any sense, but... Hmm. I guess we'll try it. They're still all playing. That's great. Hmm. Well, I can still go this way, so... I guess this is where I need to go. Maybe. Yep, there's a dragon there, alright. I wonder if I can push the 4-ton weight onto the dragon. Nah, uh, nope. Seriously, how the hell do I get onto the stage? I have actually legitimately no idea. Well, this isn't it, so maybe I have to talk to the guy in the front again? Hmm. Trixie, Trixie. Hmm. You're gonna just. Ah, get out of the way. You're gonna just keep saying the same thing. Um. I can go in here, but I don't think there's anything in- well. Hmm. Yeah, that won't help me get down. So, I guess I'll just talk to the guy in the front. Hopefully he'll let me through a door. Hopefully. Hmm. I feel like I wanted to say something. Whatever. I have! I've talked to you, then I went to talk to him, and all he says is, Oh dear, there's a dragon on the stage. Well, I would like to help you, but it seems you won't let me, because I can't get onto the damn stage. Can't go through here. You just complain about the dragon. You just tell me to talk to the... I'm going to just say director. And I can't go on the stage. Maybe if I leave and come back? Maybe. It's worth a try, I suppose. Yeah, I got that part. Okay. Talk to him again? Yes, I know. Hmm.
okay. I looked it up, and it makes no damn sense how to actually do this, but I know how to do it now. Apparently, one of these switches does in fact get me onto the stage. Somehow. You know, it didn't do that before, but now it does? I don't freaking know. Throw the switch! Maybe that was the wrong switch. Throw the switch! Okay, that was, that was it. Bring it on, Earth Dragon. Jump! Because I want to finally test out that jump booster. Uh, you probably don't have anything I can steal from you. Oh, you do, actually. That's, that's surprising. I don't know what you're weak against, though. So, let's just try a few things. Until I find something that works. Uh, that was, that's okay. Also okay. Neither of those are really amazing. Cool. Okay, that's probably. Hmm. I wonder if that dealt more damage. I feel like it dealt more damage in addition to hitting twice. I'm. Although I'm not convinced that it was worthwhile for the um. Right, let's just... I'm not convinced, though, that it was worthwhile for the, uh, double... Ex relic slots. It's hard to say, really. Hmm... You just heal. Please? Um... Let's turn it up a notch. Yeah, that hits pretty hard. It must be said. But I'm absorbing all his earth attacks, so it's not too bad. Oh, right, I have flare. Let's just use flare. Did I just successfully steal that time? I, I'm not sure. Hmm. Anyway, I've had enough jumping. I believe I want this one? I guess it's one way to find out if I successfully stole. But oh. I should I should revive Terra. Okay, I used the dance that I wanted to use. I what? What even was that? Heal Terra, please. I mean, Magnitude 8 will heal her a bit, but heal her more. I should not have used the dance of this dance of Mog, I'm thinking, because it isn't doing an anything. Basically. <laughs> a little bit underwhelming, to be honest. But at least the dragon is healing me a whole lot. That does help out quite a bit. Let's see, that fourth... Oh, and it's dead. Okay, that was actually pretty easy. With the power of Gaia Gear. So it seems that was pretty good advice. Okay, Float, Fyra, Magus Rod... Um, well, if I use Realm, the Magus Rod is pretty worthwhile. Looks like you saved the day for us once again! That, that's it? Okay. Um, yeah, if I use Realm, the Magus Rod is pretty good, but... Uh, it's not something I would put on any of my current party members. Because it boosts magic power. By quite a lot, actually. And it has a huge magic evasion boost. Which is really nice. Now then, let's let's fix my armor up. Um, you are getting the black garb. 
you are getting the force armor because lol magic evasion. Um, you will just take whatever you can wear. And that leaves the crystal mail for you. Okay, yeah, looks good. Now I need to go and visit an inn. And then to my next destination! I'm right by the door, so I guess I'll just go there. Hmm. At some point, I'm actually going to need to spend some time in the, in the, uh, the, uh, auction house as well, but... But... That's not happening... Well... Well, no, I definitely don't have enough money. Yeah, that's not happening yet. Fortunately, I don't have... As far as I know, I don't have any more big purchases I need to make. But there are a few things that I'm pretty sure I want to get from the auction house, which are all fairly expensive. All set. Okay. Now our next stop is a return to another location that we skipped out on stuff on, before, but we've already visited. Although this one I feel is more justified than, for instance, Mount Zozo, where I missed something, which was hilarious, by the way, and skipped the dragon because it was too strong. No, we're returning to Narsh, which in addition to also having a dragon that I skipped despite not needing to, um, also has a whole lot of buildings that I can get into now that I have Locke. And in fact, I need Locke in my party for this. Uh, for this part. Which reminds me, uh, one thing at a time though. It reminds me of two things. First of all, Ice Shield, this is gonna need to go. Cause, a vulnerable to ice? I don't think so. Other thing though is, if I. The Valiant Knife, apparently. In my research on weapons for things that have nothing to do with this knife itself, I discovered that this knife has a permanent um, minus strike effect. So in addition to the regular damage deals, it deals boosted damage based upon how much HP I'm missing, which means it scales with max HP. Um, as opposed to this one, which really only scales with level. The ultimate weapon is really, really good if you're a really high level, uh, which I'm not. But, it does mean that, were I so inclined, I could still min-max his HP, and just keep him on really low life, and then he could deal huge damage with the Minus Strike effect. Um, which is something I might do, actually, but I first I still want to finish Kyrga, then... I don't know. I guess I'll give him this once Mog is done with it, probably. Then Mog for his trouble? Well, he's almost done this. So, Mog for his trouble? I want to put a Bahamut on him for the plus 50 HP. Because the thing is, Mog is a very defensive character, so it's good to have him have a lot of HP. Anyway... Okay, uh, I guess I'll start with the inn. Yeah, he, you would do that. Um, there's no one in here. Huh. I wonder if I can stay here for free. No, I cannot. Well, okay then. Um, where's the next stop? I guess I'll... Okay, okay, okay. Um... Oh, there's a house. Oh. I wonder if I can go in there. Why is the counter rate in here so high? Ah, that's annoying. But I guess I can deal. It is annoying, though. Now, if I can just... Oh, this is the item shop. Wink. But no, it's actually the item shop. 
And there's no one in here! What a waste of time. Next! Well, the relic shop and weapon shop are right here, so I guess I'll go into them. But first, fighting wolves, because screw me. Um, or not. As the case may be. <laughs> yeah, I think these have 1500 HP, so I'm coming up just short killing them with, uh, Slez. Less so with Locke. Sometimes he does three- oh, four? I guess he-, he it's a variable amount. I've seen everywhere from two to four, so... At four, that seems pretty worthwhile. I wonder if you can combine... Well, no, you wouldn't be able to, because you would need three, uh... I... Relic slots for that. Hmm. Well, whatever. Anything in here? No, I suppose not. Weapon shop is next. I know there's something in one, in at least one or two of these buildings. I just don't know which buildings. Hmm. Oh, there's a guy in here! I've been waiting for you. I wanted to give you this. What is it? What? Oh, it's Magicite! I ran a weapon shop for 70 years, but I've never felt a power like the one I feel in this stone. If I were to grind it down into the shape of a blade, I'm sure it would make a very powerful weapon. What say you? Okay, so. This is actually the thing I've been doing a lot of research on. Because I knew that I had to make a decision here for the Magicite or the Sword, and I had no idea which one to do. Now, as it turns out, the Magicite, I can learn a fairly powerful spell from, but otherwise it's pretty useless. The sword, on the other hand, is incredibly powerful! It's one of the strongest weapons in the game. Now, the catch is, this is the only way you can get, get the Magicite. You can technically get the sword a different way, by stealing it from basically the boss of the game. Um, which isn't too useful for me. It's only really useful doing it that way if you're going to do a lot of post-game content. Which, if you haven't learned by now, is not really my thing. Having said that, I'm going to go with the sword. After quite a lot of debate, and it kind of hurts me to do so, just for completionist um, reasons, but the sword is legitimately a lot more useful for me. So... We're taking it. Uh, of course, what I said before is only applicable to this version of the game. If you're playing the original Super Nintendo version, then the sword is just pretty much strictly better. Um, because you, there is no post-game. But behold! Wait. Damn it! Okay, where is it? Uh... Um... Wait. I just saw... THE RAGNAROK! It may ca it sometimes cast Flare. It can only be used by these guys. But it is massively powerful! Like, stupidly powerful. Um... Actually... Oh, this, this increased my evasion. Huh. Magic evasion, 107%. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, I wanted to check something before I do this, though. Um, 70, 61, and the equipment wise, you have the enhancer, which boosts your magic by 7. And, yeah, Terra's magic power is just... I mean, I say that like it's uh, surprising, but considering what I've done to... I've basically min-maxed her for magic power, so it's not really too surprising. Mm, that said, I'm actually going to put this on Celez, I think. 
Uh, yeah. Slows gets more out of it than Terra does at the moment. I mean, I don't know who it'll end up sitting on for perm for permanence, but I think it's safe to say it's going to be juggling around these two girls a lot. In any case, this is not the only thing in Narsh. If I can find the other thing. Um, I hope this doesn't go too long. I'm already at 23 minutes. That's, uh, whatever. I don't, I don't want to stop until I'm done in Narsh, so I'm not going to. Right, I need to go the long way around to get in there. I guess I could visit the Elder's house? Something else I forgot to mention about the Ragnarok. It consumes 20 MP to auto-crit. Um, which, you know, I'm not sure if it's really good or not. I, it's not bad. Um, it's maybe not the best on Slez right now. But, well, I don't know. I don't know. Long term, that sort of effect is definitely worthwhile. I'm just not big on having it on a primary spell- well, I say primary, on a spellcaster when... Well, yeah, no, I'm just not big on having it on a spellcaster. Because MP is precious and ethers are expensive. I don't actually even have that many, so... And then Mog sweeps. Okay, okay. Now, this was the treasure room, wasn't it? I feel like it was. Um... Well... That's not really useful. Hmm. I haven't been to the Elders' house yet, so I guess I'll look there. Oh, and the armor shop as well. Okay, the armor shop was just over here, right? Oh, this was unlocked. Why was this unlocked? Hmm. Oh, that's why. Okay then, um, the Elder's house is all this left, so I guess I'll head over there. Oh yeah, and I still need to fight that damn dragon as well. Okay, um, this wasn't the Elder's house though, was it? Maybe it was. In any case, uh, I'm actually going to cut off here after all because this is going too long and I still have the dragon to fight. So join me next time when we finish off in Narf, in Narsh, fight a dragon, and maybe go do something else. Until then, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VI with Chaos Baloo, and have a good day. Bye!